disappointed, obviously, in the outcome, but I thought we played very gritty basketball in the second half. Um, we were talking in the locker room that we thought if we had had that type of grit um, coming out of the gate tonight, it might have a different outcome. Um, but there's some obstacles that obviously we need to overcome and fix. And uh, one is free throw differential. Um, 35 free throws to 14. Um, we have to obviously get to the foul line more. And apparently we're the more aggressive team um, fouling that many times. So we've got to make sure that we're not putting our opponents on the line as often. And we need to go to the line more ourselves. Um, I think we missed some key bunnies. Um, you know, once we did have opportunities, we didn't necessarily get the bucket we needed to when we needed to. Um, turnovers, I think we've improved in that area, but when we turned the ball over, it was huge. Um, it wasn't the number, it was the timeliness um, of them. And I thought we did a good job rebounding for the most points. Uh, there's one differential in the rebounding, but key, key times. Um, there was a time, our comeback down three, we gave up an old board. So it's, it's times like that that come back and haunt you. It's not necessarily the number, uh, but it's when. Um, and we needed that offensive board to um, get one more bucket to get within one or possibly tie it. Did you feel that they maybe changed the way they're playing you after that? It seemed like from that point on until maybe later in the second half that they were just all over you every time you touched the ball after that. Yes, I mean, I think every time every team we play this season is going to play me as a shooter and fly out as, at me on the three-point line and like hug me because they don't want to give me any space because I'm shooting it. And so I think they definitely emphasize that not letting me get any shots off um, uncontested throughout the game. Um, yeah, we. I thought we had some mismatch situations that we could get to the rim on, um, and D being one of them. Um, we were trying to get D to get to the rim a little bit and Rashida to get to the rim a little bit because we didn't think the matchups, uh, we thought the matchups were in our favor if we did that. Um, mm -hmm. And we also, you know, we were missing so many shots we wanted to, you know, push the envelope and maybe get to the foul line a little bit, which is that something overall we're just not doing enough of. Yeah. It looked like it was very effective. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, one, one, one problem seemed to be that when D had to go out with the two fouls and Anola came in and, and she played eight minutes, but there was mm -hmm. a lot of turnovers, mm -hmm. no points. Uh, is that just something with experience, you know, be able to, to uh, 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 calm her down or, or, um, or, or is it, you know, maybe Carolyn, you know, Carolyn's job going to be? Um, well, it's, you know, jobs are always up for grabs. Um, Carol Ann really hasn't been practicing that long, yeah. and um, she doesn't have quite her mobility back. Mm -hmm. I mean, she played a little bit, uh, gave up a bucket the minute she went yeah, in. So, yeah. um, you know, we need to keep working on her mobility. But, um, but yeah, I think I think Nola is a true freshman. You know, I think um, there might be a lot of game jitters in there. Um, you just can't compare. You know, Rashida's not a true freshman. Right. So you can see the difference in crunch time and, and pressure situations. Um, but Nola will come along uh, with experience. C will come along with mobility. Um, and D just can't get in foul trouble until that happens. <laughs> so, speaking of Rashida, was it, what kind of trend, when she had to sit, it was for seven minutes or so in the second half there, um, what kind of, um, uh, kind of changes did you have to make? I mean, obviously, looking at the play, the minutes played, it seemed like you guys were, have top heavy with, with the minutes there. Yeah, in terms of who played and how much. Yeah, yeah I mean we we went with the kids that were playing the best. Period. Um, and foul trouble was the only thing keeping Rashida from playing every minute. Because um, it, it seemed like for a stretch at the end that she was ready to take over the game at the end there, and that she got that foul on the right. other end. Right. Right. And you know that's it's that's probably the only freshman thing that you can see with Rashida is. Um, you know, you have four, you can't pick up that foul. You know, you have to be more careful. Actually, I think it was our third she could have totally avoided. Mm -hmm. the, four, yeah, the fourth one. Yeah. She had three already, and they yeah. came in along and saying, so don't foul. Yeah, that you could know. have been avoided for sure. So that's that's probably the only rookie thing we'll see her do, is um, not make a conscious effort to just let something go if that means you get to play, you know, more minutes. Um, but she's, she's just really unselfish. That's why she was not thinking that way yet. No. Drop four in a row. Is there a concern that this kind of thing can, can snowball on a team? 
I think anything can snowball. You know, I think um, everything's contagious. But we have good leaders. I don't think anything will snowball in the negative. Um, they know that coming off that second half, we're, we're on, right on the bubble of making this thing go. Um, so Sunday will be the day.